we're going to graph the function y equals negative 3x squared plus 10x minus 5 on our calculator. Now we know all quadratic functions have the appearance of a parabola. So when we graph this, we should notice that um, the graph comes out looking like a parabola. We're going to start graphing any function by putting ourselves in the standard zoom. So we hit zoom. We can either press 6 or scroll down to number 6 and hit enter. And that will bring us to the standard zoom. And when you're in standard zoom, we have um, 10 notches, or rather, I'm sorry, we go from negative 10 on the x-axis to positive 10, and then we go from negative 10 on the y-axis to positive 10. And if we press the window key here, we can verify these are our standard zoom settings. Um, from negative 10 to positive 10, x min, x max. Negative 10 to positive 10 on uh, y min, y max. And x scale equal 1, x, y scale equal 1 is going to tell us that each notch on the axis represents one unit. Okay, so we're going to press y equals, and here's where we always put in our function. So we're going to put in negative 3x squared plus 10x minus 5. And a couple things you want to make sure that you do. Um, if, you, if you've never seen the x key on the calculator, it's right here below the mode key. And the squared key is also a handy thing to have. Instead of using the caret tool, you can square anything by pressing this button right here, x squared. Um, you want to make sure that the sign that you put in front of the 3, the negative 3, is a negative sign and not a minus sign. So here's the negative as opposed to the minus sign, which is in a gray color. So the negative is right here in white next to the decimal point and the minus sign is above the addition sign. So you want to make sure that this is a negative 3, not a minus 3. And now that we're in a standard zoom, we're going to hit graph and we're going to get uh, the picture of a parabola going from um, we'll have negative 10 to 10 on the x and negative 10 to 10 on the y. And um, the goal of this exercise is to zoom in on the highest point of the parabola, which is right here. Zoom in on the highest point and try to examine its value by tracing the figure. So to zoom in, we're going to press the zoom key again and we're going to move to number two and zoom in. Okay. Now that we're zooming in, you see this flashing cursor uh, right in the center at the origin? We're going to use our arrow keys now to move that flashing cursor to be at the highest point of this graph. And you can see how the x and y values at the bottom of the viewing window change as you move your cursor back and forth. So there I am right at the top of that parabola and we're going to hit enter and zoom in right there. Right there. And if we want to get even more precise we can hit enter again and it would zoom in even further. Okay. Now notice that I can move this cursor anywhere on the screen and the x and y coordinates at the bottom of the screen change as we move the cursor. If we press the trace key, the trace key is going to get us, lock us right onto that function graph so we could trace right along the figure. So as we trace along the figure you can see the x and y values at the bottom of the screen change. Those are the ordered pairs that are solutions to this function. Now, let's try to find the maximum point, the height, the highest point of this graph. Using this, the arrows, front and back, um, I mean left and right, we're going to navigate so that our y is at its highest point. So if you, if you see, um, 
y equals 3.330 here and if I move a little bit more to the right it's 3.332 there it gets to leave even a little higher 3.333 and then it goes down again so right here 3.333 that seems to be the highest y point and the highest x that goes along with it is x point at uh, 1.66 two two three four and if we round that to the nearest tenth we have the ordered pair one point seven comma three point three 